Hey guys, it's me. Welcome back again to the Ron Williams YouTube channel. Natural Mr. World, Natural Mr. Universe, Natural Mr. Olympia. Listen, I am going to change the flow today and I'm going to talk about some things that are really, really personal. I'm going to open my heart up to you guys and, and uh, I'm going to tell you some things that, uh, that I hope will help you. I'm going to talk about coming from the ghetto to actually becoming a champion and how you do that and how I was able to do that. Um, take a walk with me. First of all, I wanna say this, is that I didn't understand the difference between being a champion and winning a championship. And there's a huge difference. You know, I wanted to, you know, I started off wanting to prove myself to myself and to the world that I wasn't going to become what everybody said I was going to become. You're not going to be able to accomplish this. You're not going to be able to do that. And, and all of those negative things. I had these negative words coming in constantly, what I'm not going to be able to do because I didn't get great grades in school. But you know what? That didn't stop me from becoming the best at what I do. So, um, I was chasing the championship and not becoming a champion. See, becoming a champion is different than winning a championship. And what I mean by that is if you win a championship, you've won a contest, you've won some money, you've won that accolade, and you'll always have that title, but what does it do for you? See, there are some principles that are, that are, um, that are used to win a championship. And you can use those very same principles in your life and become a champion. Not just winning a championship, but we know people who have won championships, but they're, um, they're not doing very well in other areas of their lives. They're committing adultery. They're, uh, they're doing everything that they're big enough to do. They're drug addicts. They're, you, know, they're going, you, you find them going to jail for violence and so many other things. But becoming a champion is using those disciplines and those principles in faith, family, fitness, and finance. How do you do that? That's what I want to talk about. Coming from the ghetto, having a ghetto mentality, having the mentality that I had to physically fight in order to survive, uh, coming from that mentality and not realizing that something inside of me had to change because that was all I knew. I mean, I had, there was no other place for me to learn anything that I knew. I was born in the ghetto, raised in the ghetto, so I was taught from the ghetto. And you don't know what you don't know. Well, I went outside of the ghetto and I joined the military and I found out the military was a lot like the ghetto except more expansive and then you found other people that were a little different than, uh, than that ghetto mentality. So I saw there, were, there was more to life and there was more to the world. I'm just gonna tell you this as a bonus. In the ghetto, there are some people that have never left the state. You might say, that, that doesn't make sense to me. They never left the state? No, they've never once went out of their state. And so a ghetto mentality thinks uh, neighborhood. Uh, middle class mentality thinks national. But a prosperous mentality thinks international. Think about this. If I would ask you, what restaurant, what is your favorite restaurant? Some people would say, uh, In-N-Out Burger. It's right in their neighborhood. Somebody else would say, I remember a restaurant I went to in California. The ambiance there was just awesome. You asked another person, what is your favorite restaurant? They say, I remember when I went to Italy, um, there was an Italian restaurant there that just blew my mind. But the person that's from the ghetto doesn't really have an understanding of what that means. Now, am I putting the ghetto down? No. But what I am saying is that we don't have to stay there. We don't have to stay in that mentality. I was afraid at one time of looking outside of my small world that was inside of a big world. This is a culture within itself. I had to break free from this culture so that I could fit in this big world and survive in it. And the survival mechanisms are completely different. I want you to know that. It's the difference between 
coming from nothing to becoming a champion. And it is a mindset. It is a change of mind. Now I want to tell you how it all starts. It all starts with a single word. Just like that with a single word and a single action. One is we are born. We're raised by parents that are from a certain environment. That environment is pushed on us. And that as, as that environment is pushed on us, we learn that environment. We learn to survive within that environment. Whether it's ghetto, middle class, upper class, it doesn't matter. We learn to survive in that environment. And guess what? That's all we know. But it starts with a word. Now words are very important and we've heard some things. Uh, we've heard some things like the uh, words are powerful. There's life and death in the tongue. We've heard as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. We've heard things like that. So words, so the first step is words. And with words, you put a, a group of words together. Though that group of words creates a thought and then that thought turns into um, a feeling. That feeling turns into an emotion. That emotion turns into passion. Once you've got a passion, you start to develop actions. Now, wherever you are from, whatever, whatever environment you are from, you become passionate in that environment. Then you start to create what we called actions. And those actions turn into habits those habits turn into a fixed cycle. This is the hard part, people, is when you develop a fixed cycle, it's like having a canal and water is running through that canal. It's already got a track to run on. It can't go where it wants to go. It has to stay in that canal. It is fixed. And in order for that canal to turn and go the other direction, that is unnatural. So if you're raised in an environment to completely change the direction you're going in, it is unnatural. You have to want to make that change. You have to make an about faith intentionally and go the opposite direction. If you want to be better, you've got to do better. You've got to think better. You've got to raise your expectations of who you are. You've got to develop that champion mentality. And that's what I decided one day. I made my mind up that I was going to be strong in faith, family, fitness, and finances. And whatever that took, whatever I didn't know, I was going to learn. And I was going to be different. Was it hard? If I told you it was easy, I wouldn't be telling you the truth. If I told you that training for Mr. Universe was easy, I wouldn't be telling you the truth, people. And it's not because I am so smart, because that is not what I think. And it's not because I have the best body or the best genetics in the world. I don't think that to be true either. But I do think that willpower and hard work and using champion principles can overcome gifting, it can overcome talent. Having a mindset of never quitting, never giving up, not listening to those words of negativity and not allowing them to defeat me, but to rise above them and do what other people are not willing to do. When I made my mind up that I was going to be Mr. Universe, I made my mind up and then my mind passed being made up. Not only did I make my mind up to be Mr. Universe, but before I ever stepped on that stage, I became Mr. Universe. I made my mind up to be a champion in life, in faith, family, fitness, and finances. I am a champion. That's who I am. And I refuse to be anything else. Now, there are times when life tries to tell me different, but I want you to do what I do. When life tries to knock you down and tell you that you're not, <laughs> you've got to say, I am a champion. I am a champion. Champion is who I am. And that champ, whatever it is that I desire, I'm going to go out in the street and grab it and drag it in, kicking and screaming. Why? Because it belongs to me. It is mine. It is yours. And that's the way I do life, people. As a champion, that is the way I do life. You think I'm a nice guy, and I am. 
But when it comes to being a champion, I am dogmatic. I'll fight over that. I'll fight over being a champion. You say, Ron is so nice. I am. Because that's part of being a champion too. But there's a time and a place for everything. Now it's time for me to be a nice guy. Listen guys, I hope you like this video. I hope it inspires you. I hope it encourages you. I hope it makes you say, I refuse not to be a champion. If Ron did it, coming from his very, very tremendous, humble beginnings, if he did it, I can do it. I can do it. God bless you guys. Give me a thumbs up. Until next time. What you want? What you want? What you want? What you want?